Hello guys and gals, if it's F1 Backwards here and welcome back to part 2 out of 2 for my after party 100% achievement slash trophy guide and full walkthrough. So where we left off then, we would had just done the trial for a polyolion and now what we have to do is basically go downstairs, go all the way back to the taxi rank and go back to first and Izzard, the schoolyard strangler. And from there, that is where we will be getting yet another achievement. Now, the achievement, what we have to do is basically uh, play a perfect drinking game. And it's kind of like the first beer pong one. The dance one was easy, but the beer pong one, it might take you a couple of restarts. Again, it took me about, I think about eight to ten, eight, nine or ten, having to quit out the game, go into the main menu and... Uh, going back into it, but luckily unlike the beer pong one where you've got to sift through a little bit of dialogue uh, You basically just start at the drinking table straight away So it's easy enough once you get used to it You just um, drink the shot with right trigger and then place the cup with a but again We'll just get back into that a little bit later on Should I try and climb in front and like steer? Not that I want to, but I'm nervous of careening into like an evil buoy or something. No, no, no. Sam will definitely help us. She has to have like a uh, remote well, way to remotely control this thing. Mm, why does she have to have that? Um, because it's magic? <laughs> Doodle, the way you dress, it's like you're trying to look pregnant. Wait, who's that? Shh. <laughs> She's just practicing for college. What was the... You're always saying what? I don't need friends. No, I don't need boyfriends. Yeah, I'll get a boyfriend after I get a life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. It's so then, now we are going to get some more worm horn stuff. Um, again, dialogue options don't really matter in this one. But hopefully, as well, what you've been doing is following along with all the... With mostly the dialogue options when it comes to choices. So, for instance, when you had to play beer pong the first time for Tommy's death day party, that's basically, basically, it's a point for Milo. I did explain it in the first one. And then, obviously, if you won the trial with Milo and, and things like that, that that is for an achievement, again, a little bit later on. So, hopefully, you've been following what I've been doing there, so you will get the achievement for that. But, like I said, even if you don't, even if you get the achievement for playing as Lola after the fight and not Milo, I've got an achievement guide coming out for it anyway, so you can quickly sift back through it. It should only take you about an hour, an hour and a half to sift back through it anyway. Um, I also hope that made a little bit of sense. Sometimes I either waffle on with an explanation or I don't, you know, really get to the point, so <laughs> apologies for that. Oh, right. They wouldn't say anything about it because they're assholes. Wise assholes, but still. You don't have to be an asshole quite so loud, you know? All right, who the hell cares what Lola's sisters think about her now, Wormhorn? Hey, I don't care about anything except doing an excellent job excellently. She's the one that cares what her sisters think. No, I don't. At least, not as much as I like, used to. Previously on Lola's dad's life, he had a past marriage and sex with other humans. And lived in Detroit with three daughters he would later abandon for his current ex-wife, Lola's mom. See, Lola's like the mercenary remake of a Hollywood classic. Sure, there's a bigger budget, but less passion too. And the script had 12 writers. No, this is the last time I invite her over to hang out. She just sat in the corner at Pet Baxter the whole night. Yeah, I know all of this already. She also knows that my parents are divorced too, and that... It's fine, Milo, it's fine. We can just sit here quietly until this whole stupid ride is over. Don't even engage. It's like it's like what every lawyer with tattoos tells you. Don't talk when being questioned. It can only hurt you. Did you see their Christmas picture this year? Noodle is always scowling. It's like a joke at this point. <laughs> Why? Why do you call her Noodle? Because her baby hair looks like a cartoon. Her grandfather said it first. Lola likes it because even though it's a distancing and alienating moniker, it means the original family carries her at all in their considerations. 
Oh, shut up, Nina. I don't like it. Hey, it's not Nina saying it. It's your version of Nina. So file any complaints to your own personal psyche. Just ignore them, Lola. It's not uh, even... Like, Nina knows shit about shit, okay? She dropped out of college when she got pregnant with Malcolm. And it was the best decision of my life, honey. God had a plan for me. I just didn't know it yet. Yeah, Doodle never really believed in the Almighty, in fate. Christmas would come around, and she'd quote textbooks over St. Paul to defend evolution or some shit. Yeah, look where that got her. Holiday dinners were always so awkward. We'd say grace, and she'd keep her eyes open, staring at the table. Man, I don't know if Wormhorn deserves a spirit acting award or anything, but your sisters sound like morons. They are morons. The sad truth is that Lola envies what she sees as our faith-based moral complacency, secure in our knowledge that we will eventually go to heaven. Because she knows civilization will end in an oil-starved dystopia, drowned in a gray ocean. Killed dead by super diseases and storms brought on by mankind's rape of the natural world. And there's absolutely nothing she can do about it, so why care, Lola? Why care about anything at all? Because there's still time. There's still time enough to do something about about everything. At least time enough for somebody to do something if we don't make it back. <laughs> Lola. And I love my sisters, okay? I fucking love them. Even though I think they're dumber than a bag of wet socks and not very nice people, they are my family. And you gotta care about them. Because there's nobody else to. Oh, really? Yeah, really. Oh, really? Yes, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I already ordered it. I was just checking on the shipping number. If I had the tracking number, I'd just look online, wouldn't I? No, I just know it started with a J. Sam. Oh, God. Wormhorn was... Yeah, hi, kids. Just, just give me a second here. Thanks. Albuquerque? Why the hell is this zip code so close to hell, then? Ugh, fine, I don't want to talk about it anymore. Just get it here. Ugh, I'm trying out this new toothbrush subscription thing. So far, it's more trouble than it's worth. And, uh, I won't charge you for the dings your personal demon inflicted upon my car, so... Sorry? Apology accepted, but really, don't worry about it. How do you even get back? To the courier demon? But just forget it. I mean, why waste time on unnecessary world-building, you know? What? So, you two boxcar children never told me where you wanted to head to next. Back to the Strangler. Apollyon is waiting for us. I think the rape of the natural world is a line from Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's one of my favorite movies. We're halfway done, Lola. And then Satan, and then home. Fuck. Yeah. So then, here we are, back at First Inizard, which was the uh, first island we visited, uh, sort of at the beginning of the game, the first time we rode in a taxi with Big Dog Sam right there. So go all the way to the Schoolyard Strangler, and just past the stairs in the Schoolyard Strangler, that is where you'll have some more dialogue with Apolly Oli Oli on. And also, how are you enjoying the game so far? Like I said, in terms of everything, uh, gameplay, story-wise, and especially the, the dialogue options are absolutely brilliant in here, and the voice acting is fantastic. But hopefully you guys and gals are enjoying the game too. Because it, uh, again, just like Oxen, Oxen Free, which I really loved, um, yeah, I think it's going really well. But of course, everyone loves different games, don't they? So, uh, hopefully you're enjoying it, and hopefully you're enjoying my whatever commentary I've got going on as well is being transferred to the seventh circle as we speak. I know you don't feel it, but you did a good deed here tonight, which I shouldn't have to tell you. Polly, just what's going on? Why'd we do that to that guy? What do you want with him? What's what's Chernabog got to do with this? Let's have a drink. Come on. Contests of drunken endurance are as old as Simeon's, but the concept flourished in medieval Europe. It's not hard to see why. Life was monotonous, dreary. 
Surf's dodged bill collectors, wrote letters, public postings, hoping for mirroring notes of support. They worked themselves to the pith, dreaming of being a lord, fat and fame and leisure. Man, thank God we didn't have to worry about that shit anymore. Now it's just college loans, the energy crisis, global poverty, child mortality, people uh, shooting each other. Well, you have sewers and sanitation now, and... Sure, artificial intelligence will eventually eclipse and enslave all of humanity, but until then, you can get toilet paper online, so. The point is, people have always drunk to excess, drunk to compete in excess. And in the morning, enwrapped in their hangover, they feel wiser for it, as you would after surviving a storm. The thing of it is, they've only survived the day, and you can't dodge the bill collector forever. You drink, though, right, Polly? We saw you at the, uh, at the sealed knot. Of course, Lola. But there's having fun to have fun, and then there's having fun to not be sad. The difference is in what's waiting for you in your empty apartment when you get home. So here we are then, the last perfect achievement that you've got to get, the perfect drinking game. So as I said earlier then, once you start, it's right trigger to down the shot straight away, press A to place the cup, and the next one will sort of float in between. So you've got to sort of control it with the left, uh, the left control stick. Um, so it can be, like I said, it might take once or twice to, to get used to it. I know it took me a couple of attempts to get used to it as well. So hopefully you can do it a bit quicker than I did, actually. Down the shot, stack the shot. First one to make Jacob's Ladder wins. Yeah, got it. And a one, and a two, and... Awesome, you're doing it! Yeah, Lola, you're ahead! Yeah, come on, Lola, you're winning! Man, why are you so good at this? Well done, well done. Can't remember the last time I did that, honestly. Wait just a sec. So there we have it then, so kind of lucked into that one just about, but like I said, you can just about get it on the edge. Um, okay. But obviously, again, it's quite tricky. If you get it too far over on the edge, it'll just slip off. But, you know, again, it's just something that you will get used to. And you will... Yeah, it's pretty enjoyable, especially when you do get the achievement and win as well. It's fantastic. It's like that nice bit of satisfying feeling in it, like, you know, sticking your hand all the way in slime or a cow's butt. Ignore that last one, sorry. Uh, we've got a poly on um, parchment seal anyway, so let's just move on and forget I just said that. Well, wait, maybe, uh, maybe I don't want to know. Do you want to know, Lola? Because it's not a truth for everyone. Yeah, I... Car accident. The stoplight at Oak Grove. Guy didn't look up to see the red. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Lola died on impact. Milo three hours later. Well, okay. Okay, kids. Look to the Mad Prophet. We want to hold fast to our senses and to our faith in them. And think their consequences through to the end. Think about the consequences of tonight. Before you go and do something to make your mothers turn their heads. <laughs> What do you think that means? Who knows? All I know is I hope we did the right thing with poor Roberto. No, I'm, I'm sure we did. Polly seemed like a, a, well, maybe not a good egg, but of less hell spoiled egg. I'm sure she had a good enough reason to want him here. Yeah, maybe. And as you just seen then, we've got the achievement for getting a Polymonomonomon's seal as well. So now again, it's just heading all the way back down to the left, down to the taxi rank, get into Sam, and then we will go into the next island, which is uh, Thrall Island. And we will be getting another achievement linked to that island as well. Which, and again, as I said earlier about the two separate achievements after Milo and Lola have a fight, we will be going for Lola's option but again, if you've been following the video guide um, all the way up until this point, you should still get Milo's achievement anyway. But like I said, it really doesn't matter if you get Lola's one because you can. I'm just going to do a separate video and you just blast through a second playthrough and get Milo's stuff anyway. So, but again, it's just if you want to get as many achievements as you can done in this one playthrough. Okay, Lola, I'm not emotional support parents. 
My dad remarried in three months, and she's all alone with nothing but her store. You never talked up one girl at school, and then suddenly you demand to hit on Linda? You go back and forth, back and forth. It's just, you know, it's hard to know what target you're aiming at next. You could have talked, Lola. I asked you, and you said it was okay. Is this, is this a wormhorn thing? Like, what the hell is going on with you right now? Nothing's going on, just forget it. My shoes are finally starting to give way. I think it's just, it, that's all. Mind. Oh, we'll walk a little slower then. Cripes. Hmm. What? I thought the rain would hurt. In fact, rain is one of the few things that are exactly the same in both heaven and hell, since an equal amount of people both love and hate it, like subtitles in movies or driving. But anyways, welcome to your new review. Let's just jump right in, shall we? You know, someone must have slandered poor Roberto. For one morning, without having done anything wrong, he was dead and in hell. And you also know, it is rare for people to be asked the question. Which put Get us out of here, Wormhorn. We don't need the recap. We just did the shit. Well, it helps to have an objective viewpoint, Lola. Like an instant replay. And everyone loves that. When the when the refs stop everything to watch tape for ten minutes to tell everyone his damn toe was on Never mind. Anyways, I can't believe he threw his case. You complete monsters! And all to get into Apollyon's good graces. Apollyon, she wouldn't have helped us if we didn't do what she said. Maybe she would have helped you anyway. Maybe she would have respected you. Maybe you're too dumb to realize you have to be able to beat the damn game even if you do the wrong thing. But you just sent an innocent man to an eternity of torment because you wanted out of that same terrible fate. Not cool, dude. And the new number one recollection on this completely made up list is. Oh, oh shoot, how'd this one get in here? Oh, it looks like a picture of Lola not fulfilling her lifelong goal of becoming a family woman. Ah, uh, tisk tisk. What a shame, really. Oh my god, no. How, how did you find these clearly divine images? What do you mean? I didn't do this. It must have been. Uh, whatever, moving on. Ugh. Okay, let's just motor through these quick facts of the night so far. You took a poor old witch's dress so you can sneak into a house of devilry. Arnold Potter graduated with a master's in consumer psychology. He will go on to design intentionally confusing grocery stores before dying of a stroke inside one of his own shops. Currently, 8% of people enjoy chewing ice, only 15% of which realize it is a sign of behavioral disorder. Oh my god, will you shut this stupid thing off? Wait, 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 there's just, I think there's just like 28 more. Wormhorn. Remember when Lola went on top in the costume? Oh, everyone saw that coming, right? I mean, look at her. <laughs> she made Milo be the legs. Wormhorn? What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No, you know what? Why should I? Tell me, why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just, I just burn time till there's nothing left? Seriously, Wormhorn, don't even joke about it. I'll find a fucking way to end you, I swear it. I'll become a damn witch, okay? You don't want me down here any more than you need to. Ugh, whatever, just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. That bit's not getting any fresher, I can tell you that much.
so what's over? Light seeking light doth light of light beguile. That was written by the Earl of Southampton's mistress. Any of you heard of it? This ain't a game show, so it's not like you'll lose money. What the hell does that mean? It's kind of cheating to rhyme the same word four times. You don't... Okay, Milo doesn't remember. Look, it's from a play you were fucking in. Oh, yeah, I was. Yeah, and the girl you were in it for ended up dating your understudy. Oh, yeah, she did. I only bring up this, uh, personality calcifying event because Asmodeus is going through some similar stuff. So you shouldn't really mention anything like, like love or relationships or like, uh, doing it or having hope for your uh, future sexual lives maybe uh, maybe we can we can help him you cannot help anyone down here all right i repeat you cannot help anyone just out drink the son of the bitch and help yourselves just like sally mitchell helped herself to your understudy's mouth okay now now we look. got it avoid touchy feely stick to the party hardy hey party shardy works too if you're wearing the right underwear Alrighty, welcome to Thrall City. It's like if 14th century Europe invented a skyscraper. How did a continent invent anything? How did Australia invent killer birds that kick you to death, Lola? A, a lot of evolution and luck, okay? Now, look, just... When you find Asmodeus, don't... Don't harsh the vibe. He's real big on having a good time. The cassowary, that, that's what you were talking about. Did you hear her, Lola? <laughs> don't harsh the vibe. Oh, give me a... The Gulag Archipelago is an important book, all right? And I didn't know that Tim was on shrooms that time. Why do you even have that as an audiobook? Cause I jog, okay? It's called multitasking. Bye. That's so funny. I totally forgot I was in that play. Sally Mitchell, she played uh, Rosalind. I don't think I said one word to her outside of the script. Ugh, it's, a, it's annoying remembering how how bad I was at it, dating or, or anything social. Not that I, not that I would be much better down here. Yeah, you didn't, you weren't the best at making female friends who wouldn't mind boning you. Yeah, I guess that'll always be a mystery. What it's like to grow old with someone. Your grace needs not fear it. That's the only line. So welcome to Thrall Island, or Thrall City even, whatever, it's all the same. It's all the same crap in it. Nice triple X sign there. Can't beat a bit of demon porn, can you? I suppose. Have a look on Pornhub. I can guarantee there's some on Pornhub. I bet there's a ton of people who watch it as well. Me? No, I like human porn. I mean, I don't watch that stuff. That's disgusting. Anyway. Yes, so, Thrall City. This is where we will be getting... Yeah, I don't know how to talk some crap tonight. Um, yeah, so this is where we will be getting the last parchment seal that we need to go up and face Satan. But there will be a little bit more to do before that. And this is where we will be getting another achievement. And what we'll have to do is, the demon Asmodeus here, we'll be getting him and his ex-wife back together. That's what another thing I love about video games is... Two kids or two random people can come in and just completely save the day. Asmodeus and Beth, who've spent eternity together, know each other, they can't talk, but two absolute random strangers can get them back together like that. Love video game logic, I do. Anyway, this is where he is anyway, the Skull Bar. Hopefully you've actually been following what I've been doing on screen and not what kind of crap I've been talking. And uh, we'll go straight to the right then. Uh, they'll be having a little bit. Again, there's another bar in here which we will need to... You don't need to go down yet. Please ignore that. Sorry again. We'll need to go to the bar and get another four drinks down us. I hear you over the music. Yeah, but this place is a real meat market though, right? If, if meat was spelled... Let's just find Asmodeus. Maybe he's on the dance floor. Yeah, it's spelled like the, like the food. God, I hate places like this. I don't know what it is, but it's just like this. I work three hours today, so I deserve to get coked up and dance while Chinese lake. Two reparias for two lovebirds. Oh, we're not lovers. I treat her more like a mannequin. I built it to me. And he looks like my dad, so I get to work out my more wholesome fantasies. Sounds good, kids. Have fun. Hey, kids, what'll it be? Uh, one, look out behind you, I think.
try not to drink and dance, it's a pain to clean up the floor. Want to reload? Gross, but I guess I'll have a Bluebeard's last wife. Enjoy yourself. Want to change it up or stick with what you know? Um, a red Korea this time? Don't drink it all in one gulp. And there we have it then, so if you've been following along perfectly to these video guides, you will get the achievement right there. And again, if you took my earlier advice and got a drink and uh, got up those sort of yellow dialogue options, you might get the swearing one a lot sooner than I have as well. But again, there's plenty of swearing to go around in the game, <laughs> which would be no problem. So here's Osmodius then. Again, dialogue options with him don't really matter because you'll all sort of end up in the same bit anyway. Pit, the cartel burns in. Now you've been having a rough time of it recently. We know, but <laughs> I'm on leave, so it's not my job anymore. Look up staycation. That's that's what it. You'll see a picture of me. This is it. Hey, that's the big guy, the monarch Asmodeus. Let's follow him. Make uh, make friends with him, not them. On leave? What are you fucking Swedish? I need drugs! My husband doesn't know he can't fix the toaster! Then I need to get high enough to pretend he can! Get a divorce then. Or a drink. That's where I'm going. Well, the track makes a great term gate shake. You should have one. Hey y'all, we're here at Club Skull and we're gonna make sure to keep it bumping all night. I said all night long. What'll it be? Take a, a and red gorilla. I'm not allowed to leave. I don't even have legs really. So feel free to come by anytime. Hey, Uncle Al. How's the vacation been? Great, great. I've been, you know, I hate the phrase. Taking a little me time. But I guess it's better than saying I've been just dicking around, missing the life I used to have. Cool, cool. What do you want to drink? Ah, uh, shit, I don't know. Uh, know how to make a Marburg sour? Hey, uh, Asmodeus, nice to meet you. I've heard, uh, we've heard a lot about you. Did you? Well, I pray none of it's good. Hey, Uncle Al, the alligator, the ass wagon. You got like 10 hours? I'm taking a bath on a timeshare and need to vent at someone taller than me. Um. Uh, Maybe. Just don't get too pissed if I stop you after 10 minutes. Could we... Uh, I'm sorry, could we get like a second with you, Asmodeus? Uh, yeah, kid, just jump right in. We don't raise our hands here to get called on or anything. Hey, sound the alarm, your cousin. Ah, I come here to get thrashed, not plan next Thanksgiving dinner. See you later, Al. Kids, keep your head up. Good to see you, Zagan. Uh, I mean, Zephar, sorry. Fuck, names from the third circle all sound Greek to me. Sorry to bother you, uh... Al, but first off, I'm Lola, he's Milo, and we're doing the whole challenge Satan to a drinking contest to escape hell thing, and we really Yeah, need... yeah, yeah, you can stop right there. Because you don't really need anything now, do you? Because you're in hell, which means you're dead. And you're kind of a fast talker, and fast talkers spread anxiety like termites. So do me a favor and slow boat it a bit. You're getting my blood pressure up, and I don't even know what your mom looks like. No problem, my Uncle Al. I will, we will be as cool as a cucumber in the North Pole in a snow globe. No, wait, no. We, the only reason we're here is to get- Yeah, Morningstar already texted me, Squirt. I know you want my seal for the contest. Oh. Father Trek, two shots of permanent vacation. You wanna, you wanna have a drink off right now? Cause I was kind of hoping you'd just make us like clean your gutters or something. Fractio Banis. We're breaking bread, Lola. Come on, do a shot with me. 
Let's get to know each other a little. Get those wrinkles off your face. We don't need therapy, Mr. Asmodeus. We just need you to stamp our permission slips. Uh, I disagree. Let's agree to disagree. I really insist. And I sincerely desist. It'll, trust me, it'll help. Come on, Lola. Remember when I dared you to drink a teaspoon of bleach? What happened then? I threw up for eight hours. See, so my exact point. Thank you. You already, that's the worst of it. Like, fine, fine, I'll take the stupid shot if you really fucking think it's so important. When a man drinks, he becomes rich. He wins lawsuits, and he is happy to help his friends. Let's focus on the last part. Oh, shit, I feel... This is weird. Is this what lazy people feel like? Because this is awesome. That's like I'm walking on a shag carpet in my bare feet, but I'm not. Hey, Al, some folks wanted to know if you can make the death day announcements. Yeah, I'll be the mall Easter Bunny. Hey, kids, why don't you two tag along? Won't take long. Not that many people here died this month. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds great. Yeah, chill out, Milo. Fucking Christ, you'll burn calories. See your friends on holiday time. You should set your watch there, too. You're trying to outdrink Satan, right? Well, you can dream a dream in time gone by. That shit ain't happening. Why not? Because trying to outdrink a guy going through a breakup is harder than waking up happy. Satan's going through a breakup? With God? Yeah. But also with the lie that life means anything. That shit happened like a hundred millennia ago. And it's still in his head. Those two had a codependent relationship like you've never seen. Uh, wait, hold up. Satan's still not over getting evicted from heaven? Didn't that happen like when light was being invented? Yeah, Satan's like an elephant. Already. He's got a big brick and a long memory. It's Lucifer looking these days anyway. He's still up on Welkin Way? Oh yeah, big place. Makes Xanadu look like a bouncy castle. And man, this drink is a trip. I finally see how boring soup kitchens are now. Uh, all of us. The original monarchs. We all used to live up there. I don't know if you know, Satan and me, yeah, we're still buddies. But the others, eh, yeah, even Bed Bath & Beyond coupons don't. Don't let anyone tell you that they don't. Well, what do you know? The Lord of Flies is a... How many death days tonight? Just a few. Don't do the carbon monoxide poisoning. He's not quite over it yet. Okay, uh, Al, can we just get your signature on this? Uh... And you know another thing about Satan? He really... He was my life raft when my wife Beth left me. He took me out, wouldn't let me get too down. It was a huge help. Oh, whoa, that shot's wearing off. I feel like I just walked off a plane from Cancun and realized I live in Cleveland. Hey, party demons! We have a very special death day. Rug Bolderat, eaten by a dinosaur 30 million years ago. And yes, people, dinosaurs did exist with humans. Don't believe everything scientists tell you. Asmodeus, uh, about, about that seal? Yeah, my witch doctor slash therapist thinks I'm just burying my pain at Beth leaving by partying all the time. That I'm just perpetuating an endless cycle of self-destruction, ignoring my real trauma. But she still wears Robinson's mate. So what does she know? Let's have a drink, Milo. Come on. For grog. Lola did Hotel Hell. How about you try my own personal cocktail? The unapologetic. Good for what ails you. Um, maybe? Well, I mean, I, I did mine, and it didn't turn out so bad. Yeah, that uh, makes enough sense. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Our lost boy's gonna do it. That's what I like to see. Bottoms up. Milo, are you, uh, okay? What the fuck shit happened? What a strange occurrence. Milo and Lola? Meet Milo's conscience. Milo's conscience? Meet Milo and Lola. Charmed. Yeah. This ugly fucking loser is my conscience? Well, get it back in. How will he know to tip 15%? Or that it's not acceptable to slap mailmen? Read the room, Lola. This is a good thing. A conscience. 
is just what happens to your ego if it watches too many kid shows with puppets. It's, it's radiation growing tumors. We've just made Milo healthy again without restraint or fear or societal hang-ups. Like putting the seat down just because your wife can't find the light switch at night. What is happy? Get a drink and find out, you little scamp. How can one be happy if others suffer? Instinct pursues procreation, which yet brings more suffering. Hey, Sailor. You look like you blew in on a stiff breeze. Wanna buy me a drink? I listened to some guy pitch me a timeshare and got his VIP seats. As long as you are... are comfortable with the proffer, I... I think I would very much enjoy that, yes. Wait, this little fucking nerd gets picked up like that? Wormhorn, you... God damn it, come back with that thing. Shouldn't we... Isn't this something we should fix? Isn't it a little scary that my best friend's moral compass is gonna go get blown in the bathroom by our personal demon? All right, kiddos, there's a dance competition that needs tending to downstairs. Wait, what? What about us having a drinking contest for the seal? Hey, I'm a busy party demon. You're fortunate to have stolen five minutes of party time. But look, I'll tell you what. How about instead, you enter the dance hall? If you win, I'll give you my seal. It's more fun than drinking. That's what Satan doesn't know. Uh, yeah, maybe. Oh, please. This guy's just stringing us along, using us as temporary friends. So he doesn't have to wallow in the sadness of divorced, middle-aged, single loser life. Hey, you say tomato, I say... Well, actually, I say tomato, too. Nobody really says tomato. Fuck. We need to get his wife, Beth, here. It's obvious he's covering old wounds. He's like me after Pilates. If we can get them back together, he'll surely give us the... I thought that was a pretty outstanding bit. Milo's conscience has been thrown up out of him here, and he has changed. I think we're going to like this, Milo. But this next decision is very important then. For one, it will get us an achievement um, for getting Asmodeus and Beth back together. So make sure to pick a play as Lola. No, we're getting his wife. Make sure to get that if you want to get, again, just all the achievements in the playthrough. And again, in terms of uh, Milo's and Lola's choices for the achievements later on, if you've been following what I've been doing, this choice won't affect that and you will still get the plane as Milo after the fight achievement. It's, it's just great. Whatever Mama Lola wants to do, I guess. Be the damn way. Thank you. Let's go to the significant cellar then. God, Lola, you should get a shot of this. Seriously, it's... It'll really melt all your stupid insecurities into the fucking toilet. I'm not doing it. One of us needs to worry about the stains on their hands. Oh, stains. We're talking about trying to... Humans are bungled and botched hordes, Lola. I'm really seeing that now. At this point, you can just keep going to the left and exit the skull bar. You don't need to get a drink here. I don't know why I've done it. Um, maybe I was just dying to get drunk myself, but I thought this was the best way. Apparently. Also, by the way, if my... Um, voice isn't sounding quite as perky as usual i'm recording this next bit after a night out so i'm at this point in the recording i'm quite hungover today so uh, yeah bear with me here you are ever the professionally Listen to me now, this. I'm saying that romance isn't dead. It never had a pulse. Why lash yourself to someone else who'll just annoy the crap out of you? Right? You can get everything you want from life out of prostitutes. Oh my lord, will you shut the hell up? You sound like my guidance counselor after his four o'clock coffee. I'm just saying, you're half yourself when you're with somebody. It's just, that's just math. You know, Beth left Asmodeus, freaking loser, for her job. And that's what you gotta do. Make something other than dumb memories or idiot children. Marriage with kids is just future alimony and burning a 70-year-old's life's worth of natural resources. It's downright immoral. Abstinence and selfishness. That, that leads to success. Milo, I might agree with this pessimistic worldview. God knows I love a downer conversation. But when you say it so forcefully, it's a pretty big turnoff. Well, sometimes the truth needs to be spoken with effort. Oh, what evil bureaucrat said that, huh? Judge Doom? 
Right, so go back your way, the way you came, go down the elevator. Now, if you had um, chosen to play as Milo in the skull bar there, it really wouldn't have made too much of a difference. You would have had quite a bit to do in the bar anyway, and it would have roughly taken about the same amount of time. But obviously you don't get achievement for that one. So just go up these stairs here. And then basically all you'll be doing is go all the way to the left until you find the significant cellar pub. And you know you're there because Lowry will say something like, Oh, isn't this a nice place? I, that, that, I don't even know what attempt at an accent that was. Because she's American and... Yeah, I don't even know. We'll just carry on. And so I told Frank, I said, listen, I don't care about the metrics. Just tell me what we should be doing better. He's so whipped by marketing. Milo, are, are you okay? Oh, um, Beth, honey, I, I think he just stepped on somebody. Oh, sorry, kid, I didn't see you down there. It's, it's I'm good. I once had my foot run over by a paper boy, so that, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, you're new, right? Are you on Baker yet? Yes, for Satan's sake, you're not at a convention. <laughs> what? Conversion and retention, man. It'll get Beelzebub off my ass. Sorry, I'm Beth. Short for Behemoth. I'm Director of Operations for Bicker. You just love to say the full title, don't you? <laughs> I'm still getting used to it. Bicker's been kind of helpful for us, actually. I wasn't on any social media while I was alive, but that's only because on Earth it gives you soul cancer. <laughs> yeah, we're still rolling out our feature set, so Earth's a little ahead of us. Sorry, Beth, but they're not going to hold our table forever. They will for me, but all right, see you guys around. Get on Bicker and direct yell at me. I'll promote your sins, okay? Have a good night, kids. There we go then, that's your introduction to Beth. And she is one huge mama. Looks like she could eat you for breakfast 10 times over, doesn't she? But she's got quite a cute voice for a big old demon gal. So you can go inside, you'll have no problems, you don't have to get any bloody disguises or anything this time from loots and frouts and jowsen. Zero moral fiber are allowed in here, love. Move now. Eh, okay, you'll do. Well, at least something good came out of this, uh, condition you're in. Something good. You say it like you don't think this is obviously great. Yeah, glad you noticed that. There's a couple of things we've got to do to convince Beth to go to the Skull Bar with you. So first things first, get yourself a drink then so you can get some different dialogue options, of course. I'll have the, uh, I'll have the little hydrophobia. Coming right up. Any drink would have done then, so it doesn't matter. Sorry, you should have mentioned that before you got the drink. But, but then go all the way to the right to find Beth dancing with. No, I don't know what the hell these are. Sorry, I'm not more to your liking, Lady Behemoth. <laughs> yeah. Um, the bald guys with girl voices with. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to go to hell for that reason. There's probably a lot of better reasons. I mean, the drink inside of it's pretty good, but I don't like the look of those doll boy girl looking things. Again, in terms of the dialogue options, nothing uh, really matters. You won't be able to sway her one way or another, or another yet, but obviously just keep looking out for the swear words so you can get that achievement a little bit later on. Hi, uh, Beth. I don't know if you remember, but... Your fat ass landed on me outside. Remember that? Or are you as forgetful as you are heavy? I'm sorry, just just ignore him, Beth. He's not in his right mind. In fact, his conscience is probably star-fucking his anxiety right now, you know? You know, it sounds more complicated than it is. You had one of Asmodeus' little forget-me-nots, right? Yeah, the come-down is intense. Get a bucket and a shovel. Don't try to be a hero. He's cute, though. Wait, what? Seriously? Oh, give me a break, Betty. <laughs> what? I'm serious. Yeah, you think so? He's more in the way right now anyway, so take him. He's yours. What? I'm not going home with no devil, Lola. I don't care where she buys her dresses. You guys want to get certified on Bicker? Is that it? Because <laughs> I'm kind of having a thing here. 
Look, um, Beth, we really need your help with something, and it's a little delicate to talk about. Hey, I just found a full barrel of scapism honey brandy. First come, first serve. And you gotta drink it here. I'm not following you around with toilet paper. Ooh, shit. Beth, do you want one? No, I'm good. I've got the guy here, so... And I think these two will entertain me a little regardless. So, saucer eyes, what do you want me to do for you? We want you to get your shit together and get back with your husband so he'll be happy and sign a magical parchment. Milo, Beth. I'm the first woman VP at Vicar, okay? You know what that means? It means I get to spread the message to every little girl that they are useless except as corporate mechanisms for intercontinental cross-promotional marketing. And that's an honor I'm not going to take lightly, and I'm not about to let an insecure husband get in the way of that. Come on, sister, get some. A job can't fill every need, you know what I'm saying? Actually, it can. The corporate washroom has very long nozzles. Look, sweeties, it's nice of you to come over and everything, but if death is God's big joke, love is his one engineering flaw. Romance is the perfect engine to make toys for him. It is, we fall hard and we fall often, but that same engine can never handle the strain indefinitely. It always overheats and breaks the fucking toy. Beth, we need his damn seal of approval, okay? He's not gonna give it unless you... Boy servant, pick up the pace. I'm growing grass under my claws over here. Yes, your ladyship. Uh, Asmodeus must have told that stupid rhino head she sounds like her damn mother... Right, so at the minute, the cute big old demon gal isn't moving anyway, so just go to where Beth's friends went at the bar there, and you'll give them a little talk. Um, I'm not sure if they divulge the same information if you choose any of the dialogue options so just choose the same ones I do here just in case they'll basically say a song I will need to go to the jukebox just on the right hand side uh, who the fuck cares how many followers I have are you serious what if I said I had one follower your mom well my mom was the corpse of an African coyote and my mother was the tears of a forgotten murder victim so you'd be impressed yes okay listen Happy to meet you, meat puppets, but we ain't here for a work promotion. We're here to get the behemoth loaded so she gets her mind off Al. And you're kind of doing the exact opposite. What do you mean? Why would she need that? Because the Hellene won't shut up about him. Did I make a mistake? Do you think he's going to be okay? Is he seeing anyone? Have you heard? Wait, she still loves him? Or is she just like, she's venting? All she still loves is the moment when they heard nuts busters by the mysterious lesions. And that's when we knew we would get married. I'm tired of talking about it. Let's get wasted and get her wasted and go home and piss to make more room for drinking. All right, kitties. It was bad talking to you. Bye. Well, uh, good to know that, I guess. Well, we know she likes him still, at least. It's nice to have confirmation on that. Want something else? Cause it's free. So... The uh, headless groom. Seems fitting for the mood tonight. So again, remember, if you do run out of a drink, just make sure to uh, top yourself up there. So we can again get swear words from different dialogue options if they come up. Now just go to the jukebox then and you don't have to do anything. I thought that you would have had to have remembered the song and I completely missed the dialogue. Uh, luckily though, you all you do is press A and then press Y when it appears here. Beth was stuck in all, you know, emotional and stuff and then we just follow her to the skull bar. Huh. <laughs> Butts nuster, nut buster. Is it Smodius over at school? He is. He's at school. He's uh, he's upstairs, I think. Maybe. I mean, maybe by now he's in the bathroom because it's been a while, but er let's just walk over. Yeah. Okay. There's a 16 drink minimum for bar top dancing ladies, and you're under the legal limit. Oh, shut up your face.
So just so you know, I'm not, this isn't a guarantee that we're gonna like, like Asmodeus would take his shirt off and leave it on the ground, okay? Like not even on the ground, but outside in sand and not put it in the hamper. He'd also mispronounce words. Like he'd say Arctic, like Arctic. And I've sort of been on a few coffee dates with this marketing demon, Eric with a K, which I can like deal with, but I'm only saying I'm just agreeing to meet up with Al, that's all. No, I, I understand completely. I mean, I haven't dated anyone, like, ever, but I have watched enough telenovelas with the sound off, though. Look, I think this is probably, for me, more about closure, that's all. I want to know where he's at, and where I'm at, and, you know, just know that I'm doing better. Definitively. Makes sense to me. You know, I say I don't like being catcalled, but I have to admit it somewhat validates the diet. Oh, kiddo. Well, do you wanna? If I'm gonna see Asmodeus, I'm gonna need a drink first and not from the spittoon. I'll see if there's any Irish guys under 35. Make a whiskey and blood cranberry. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll, uh. Right, so now we're back at the skull bar. Sadly, the uh, reunion won't happen straight away. There's still a couple of things we've got to do, i.e., get Milo's conscious back in his body. So the first thing that we will need to do then is go and get a drink. And it's a specific one that you actually need, otherwise the option won't come up. And that one is the bloody something. The bloody Mary? The bloody blood? Bloody McBlood face? Blood's starting to clean itself? Let's fix that. Oh no, it's not. It's got nothing to do with it. It's the, lo the look out behind you, sorry. It, it, ignore all the blood. Why did I think it was blood? Anyway, grab the lookout behind you drink, you'll need this specific one. Like I said, the option to, well, you'll find out in a minute, but the option won't come up if you get another drink. Try not to drink and dance, it's a pain to clean up the floor. So once we've got that drink then, now we can head left to the elevator, go down, and then there's a VIP section on the lounge just to the left as you exit. So go ahead, talk to him, Wormhorn, and <laughs> Milo's Conscious will be there. And again, a little bit of dialogue options will play out. It doesn't matter what you choose, just keep looking out for the swear words. And I don't know how much more drink I can actually look out. It's starting to make me feel sick as a dog thinking about last night again. I'm just, I'm too old to drink. There's a certain age you get, I'm coming up 30, and I'm on the verge of death all day. I don't know about that. It's just a poetically accurate phrase for consuming entertainment at an unsustainable rate. Hey! Yes? Let me in there. Are you on the list, sir? Because if you aren't, I'll have to ask you to leave the immediate area. <laughs> Fuck you. You're mean and it's upsetting me. What can I say, man? Your morality thermometer just likes me better. He doesn't like you better. He's just young and stupid and is attracted to wounded souls. I do. I guess I do have a, a type. Hey, that's my conscience you're talking about. Little morons perfect, like me. Just shush. We'll find another way around. No, I, I want to be optimistic, but it's hard in the current political climate. Which climate is that? Is McDonald's still a PM? I mean political, more in the sense of, uh, of community? Solipsism seems rampant. Yeah, <laughs> life's like a box of chocolates or whatever. Listen, you got any blow? 
I don't believe I do. So this is where the real fun bit gets going then. So go up, and you think, how the hell am I supposed to get there now? Well, you'll see, and it's quite brave from Milo's out of conscience. Nip to the left, make sure to take a sip of drink first, because, well, you know. Press A to look down, and there will be an option to jump. Press that option to jump, and then you will fly down, smashing the bouncer out of the way. Great. How does that help us? I'm a living symbol of triumph! Milo, what the ah! fuck are you- Cheese and rice, are you kidding me? You really shattered your pelvis just to get your dull-faced insecurities back? That was really unsafe, Milo. Give the- Give me a- Give me a- Give me a minute here. Sure. Conscience, you little dweeb. I hate how you think and I hate how you dress. But we got a dance competition to win. Do we? Will it help the general populace or just ourselves? Um, everyone. Fine, fine. I'm not gonna embarrass you, Milo. I'm not going to drag this little mistake of evolution into the sewers with me and turn him into a real man. Even though I could, I'm just gonna give you this one. You know why I'm giving you this one? Because things... Why nobody thought to do that before. Permission to come aboard. Milo, are you are you all right? Well, it was fun while it lasted, thinking I was awesome. You are awesome, Milo. You don't need to be uninhibited by all social laws to feel it. Okay. Hell of a jump from young Milo there, and that is a good eight out of ten dive. You would have got at least a silver in the Olympics for that. So now then we're back to normal, now what we've got to do is just go over to the dance floor and by the way, an English speaking person saying y'all is just the most it's just the most horrible thing I've ever heard, you'll hear this now with the diamond, uh, with the demon sorry, the DJ demon behind the booth there. So that's what you'll have to do and um, yeah, the way she says y'all just makes me want to throw up inside. Just a little 411 for y'all. The Syrian queen hasn't come in tonight. She usually hangs out with the Bourbon Kings in Poopy Pants Land, formerly known as Schittsburg, before those evil toddlers took over. I'm here to check in for the, uh, the dance competition. You seem a little different. Not that I'm complaining, believe me. Who's he up against? Asmodeus, who else? Ready when you are, kid. Ugh, whatever. You can take him, Milo. You, you got your mojo back. Think of Stella and her myriad grooves. Just please proceed to the dance floor when ready. Y'all is coming. Hey, oh, we got, I said we got some gladiators in the ring, y'all. Ugh. <laughs> you guys ready for the, the Anyway, now that that piece of horrificness is out the way, normally, now if you'd have picked Milo's option earlier, you would have had to have outdanced um, Asmodeus. And again, it would have just been as easy as the last time. But obviously, we've got Beth. Beth's in the club. She will appear on your left in just a moment. And now Asmodeus thinks, oh, Christ, now I've got to win. So all you have to do is just input the wrong button combos throughout the entire thing. Let Asmodeus win, and you will get the parchment seal of approval from Asmodeus and the achievement for reuniting Asmodeus and Beth. It's a double win. <laughs> Bong Sang. <laughs> Aren't we all just here to, to have fun? Light seeking light. Doth light of light beguile. You know what that means? It means you can't learn anything in books. You gotta live life. Really live it. Live it till you leave death nothing but a corpse. So I hope you do okay here tonight. I really do. Because I think you got a lot left in the tank. Beth? Oh my god. My god, that's my ex-wife. Okay, delete the whole pep talk thing. You gotta take a dive. What? I'll give you the seal. I'll, I'll sign your stupid parchment. I'll fucking co-sign a lease on a tractor with you. Just, I can't fail in front of Beth. This is like God himself 
has given me another chance. No? Sharding? Way, dude. You are going to eat it hard in front of Satan's Legion and your own lost love. Because I don't know the meaning of the word dive. It's, um... I actually, I don't know if you really don't know the meaning or... Okay, gentlemen dancers, this is how it works. You, Milo, copy Asmodeus's moves as best you can. Gentlemen, start your screwing! I mean dancing, shit, I forgot which contest I was at for a second. This move I call the very rich hours of the new belly. And this move I call Ixium precipitated in the underworld. Turn, Milo. Perfect. Thanks. I mean, uh, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, copy that if you can. Make way for Asmodeus. Oh, oh no. We're not doing well at all. Watch and study and maybe learn over the Ah, <laughs> Don't be embarrassed if you can't keep up. Hey, Beth, what, a, what an idiot, am I right? I make it look pretty easy, right? Look at this joke. He can't even copy a trade profession. Perfect. Thanks. I mean, uh, oh, that's too bad. Nothing 400 years of dance lessons can't teach. Oh, oh no! You're not doing well at all. Uh, I hope you were paying attention. Move I call the very rich hours of the Duke of Bim. And the winner is Asmodeus! Hey, how about that? You gave it your all, kid. You really did. It was fun going up against you. Oh, yes? What? How long were you standing there? Long, long time no see. Did, did you catch the show? Yes, actually, I did. Asmodeus, you look, uh, you look good, even uh, despite the hat wear. I have to say, I'm surprised. All the centuries I asked you to take me dancing. Well, if you had moves like young Milo here, maybe I would have. <laughs> oh, stop it, you card. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Asmodeus is really great. He, uh, he really helped us out tonight. Um, do you have, um, business with these people? Right. Right, right, yes. Milo, Lola, for, um, being a really good sport about things. Here's my official seal of approval. And, uh, Beth, want to get a drink or something? I got an early morning call, but <laughs> whatever, I'm the boss. Ah. Uh. You gonna throw your 401k in my face again? Just get me a fucking drink. And kids, text me if you ever wanna hang out. Will do. Yeah, no, never, but thanks. We're gonna keep on spinning for you pretty demons, but uh, if you have any requests, shuffle on down to the suggestion box. It's at the top of I Don't Give a Shit Mountain, right after I Don't Care If Your Mother Dies Valley. So there we have it then, two Ex-demons are going to get late tonight. They're going to make some incredible demon babies, I expect. Or however it works down in hell. I'm not too sure I'm not there yet. <laughs> so now we've got the second seal of approval. I don't know why I kept calling it a parchment seal of approval. It's all the same stuff. You, you knew what I was on about, didn't you? I'm not that silly. <laughs> 
Anyway, now, once again, we can move out, go all the way back to the beginning of the island where the taxi rank is, and now you'd think we can go straight to Satan's, beat him, job done. But, of course, Wormhorn is a... Well, she's a bit of a... I'm trying to think of a less swear word, but she's annoying, and we've got to do another bit with her when we get to Satan's house. Those two ever got together. But maybe you just... you just get what you can get down here. Give me a break, you were worse, Milo. After Asmodeus' drink, you acted like Paul after he snorted all those boner pills. I guess I just don't know why we even roped her into it all, you know? I feel like sometimes you do things just to see how far you can, like, push it. So this is your nonsensical way to talk to me about moving away again? I didn't say anything about moving. Yes, moving is needlessly complicating things to you, right? Well, now that we're on the subject, why are you... Because you can burn the swap meet and the drive-in and the all-night diner to the ground, Milo. I want new experiences. I want to feel good about my life. I have to hit on Linda while you sit back and enjoy the show. Everything's coming up, Lola Wolf. And all this will... You wanted to chat up the dead lounge singer? Milo, Jesus. Like, did Wormhorn become a brain parasite? Is she eating your cerebellum? What is going on? Nothing is going on. Forget it. The, uh, the, the heat is probably just getting to me. Well, I hope that's it. Cripes. This is new. Uh, did I ever tell you my completely unfounded fear of elevators getting stuck with me in one? Please, don't start peeing in the corner or something. Well, only because you insisted. Oh, come on. Elevators typically only kill 30 people per year, Milo. Of course, that doesn't take into account how many people are murdered inside an elevator, so, you know, who's to say your next trip up the lift won't be your last? <laughs> Let's take a look at what terribly excruciating memories are burning up the charts. Coming in at number three. Oh, I can't believe it's so low. Milo not taking the time to regain his conscience until after entering the dance competition. <laughs> what a bewildering choice! Almost as if Milo wanted to see what dumb shit he would get into without it. Which is the excuse of roughly 40% of active serial killers. Whatever, Wormhorn. It was fun. It was. I'm not gonna apologize for going on a bit of a bender that wasn't that bad in the first place. It... it... wasn't that bad, was it? It was bad. And speaking of dancing, coming in at number two. Milo lost the competition. You gave up the golden goose for Asmodeus, the guy that designs how humans get tortured in hell. Talk about a betrayal of the natural order. You roll on your back because a demon can remember your first fucking name? Where's your spine? Where's your, your sense of honor? Hey, so I wanted to help Asmodeus, all right? It worked out, we, we got the seal and got them together. And he said to text if we need anything. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he said to text, did he? Turn on red receipts, see if you ever get a ding from that asshole. And the new top-ranked what the hell were they thinking thing they did is... Get Asmodeus and Beth back together again. Yeah. Let's take a volatile, childish, dangerously corpulent torture chamberist and put them back together with a self-obsessed marketing executive that listens to the eagles. That'll work. Enough, Wormhorn. Can it and open the doors. What? I'm trying my best. I I've been to the, the Akashic Records and back. I've been through your brain journals, your memory palaces. You're not exactly giving me snuff films and spy movies here. Let us go. No. You know what? Why should I? Tell me. Why don't I just keep you here? Why don't I just... I just burn time till there's nothing left? Seriously, Wormhorn, don't even joke about it. I'll find a fucking way to end you. I swear it. I'll become a damn... witch. Okay? You don't want me down here any more than you need to. Ugh. Whatever. Just remember. I know which one of you likes to be spanked. I know which one of you likes to get their hair pulled. I know which one of you hates themselves so much they hate their parents for the idea. And I know which one of you hates the other one almost as much. Think about it. Bye. By the way, the whole thing with Wormhorn there is even if you picked the other option, she would have, you know, just basically yeah, ridiculed you for not picking the other option anyway. So you're not really missing out on anything there. Well, I don't hate you. 
by the way. Yeah, I don't hate you either. <laughs> Chanters are texting me. They're thanking us for the gig. They just went on. Aw, those guys. Write them back. I'm just curious. And I think you sometimes need a being too cold in texts check. I told him in so many words to please fuck permanently off. God, Lola, they weren't that bad. <laughs> yeah, they were that bad. Okay. Anyways, who cares? It's not like we're gonna ever see them again. <laughs> Knock on. I guess there's no wood around here. Oh well. You got your, uh, your passport stamped and everything, so looks like you're good to go. Satan will be happy to see you did it, probably. Um, will he be? Because I kind of got the feeling that he didn't really want to do it. No, are you seriously? No, using the loophole to let people out makes him feel like he's Harry fucking Tubman. He'll be thrilled to give you guys more than a participation trophy, trust me. Got another mile away left on my uh, my shift tonight, so if you wrap up fast, it was nice knowing you. Not that anyone can ever really know anyone. Nice knowing you too, Sam. Your driving has been both a requirement, but also informative and pleasant. I only almost fell out like six or seven times. Yeah, I keep trying to get rid of those seatbelts, but it's like super glued in or something. But I guess that's it. And if Morningstar asks, uh, I wasn't with Happy all night. Well, why would he care? So I hope you picked Welkin way there. That was the only option you could pick, so I'm pretty sure you couldn't go that bit wrong. I'm positively sure. So Sam thinks you're off, gonna say ta-da, but obviously there's quite a bit more left to do yet. Um, I'd say there's probably... There's less than an hour of gameplay left, but obviously we will be getting the... Uh, all the three endings in the one playthrough anyway, so of course that'll take a bit longer, but we're about an hour and 15 away from completing this game, or getting the 21 out of 23 achievements anyway. Wanna skip the hustle and bustle and head straight to Lucifer's? Satan's please. Alrighty. Heading on up. this uh, <laughs> you go first I was just gonna say that this is the uh, the end of the line I guess and uh, I don't know I, I feel like I should say I'm sorry for some reason I don't necessarily know why but yeah I kind of weirdly feel the same way so uh, sorry if I've been weird or anything it's fine I don't know whatever let's just let's just get home Okay then, so you'd think this is it, but it's actually not. Now this is the point of the game where we will be getting the either the Milo or the Lola uh, fighting achievement, and for playing whichever character it is that you've basically sided with for the majority of the game, and that will come up in about five minutes' time. Now, 
Again, hopefully you've sort of picked the choices that I have as Milo. I'm hoping I made it a bit clearer. I don't think I did sometimes, so I apologise if I didn't make it so clear. Because obviously there was times I was saying where dialogue options don't matter. But hopefully it was kind of obvious where you had to choose between Milo and Lola, even when it was in the trial and, and things like that. But again, if it does come out that you either get Again, Milo or Lola in this case, I'll be doing another video guide anyway with both characters and sort of wh at what points that you need to side with either person. So again, hopefully that made a little bit of sense there. I think I got confused in my own world there for a minute. Fuck yeah, let's rock this bitch. Finally, I've been... I've been really waiting all year for this. I could spread my party wings and really, really assimilate into good old boy middle class mid cult die of heart disease avarice and stupidity. And don't take it to mean that your friendship, Lola, was never enough for me. Understand that it was never even close to being enough. Yeah, Milo doesn't sound like that asswipe, okay? He's a giant nerd that's as much of a skeptic as- I'm not a, a giant nerd, okay? I'm, no, it's a compliment. Jesus. <sighs> hey, Lola, how's it, uh... How's it, how's it going? Well, there are starving children in the world, and you're all taking jello shots. Does that answer your question? Oh, Jesus Christ. Did you hear your uh, friend Milo got pranked by Kappa Theta? They somehow forwarded his calls to their directory. The only one who ever calls him is Mom. Oh, ugh, Milo. Uh, God, yeah, that guy's just such a fucking walnut. <laughs> a walnut? Why is it so funny? <laughs> a walnut he is! <laughs> Wait, Lola. You called me that first? You know those guys filled my mailbox with walnuts for like a month after, right? Yeah, I know. You told me all about it. I, I just... Uh, it just came out, and I didn't think they'd... It wasn't even meant to be a big deal. Hey, Milo. Where's, uh... Where's Lola? Oh, she's getting her stuff out of the car, I think. Wasn't she supposed to go to some, uh, some veterans hospital thing tonight or something? She had to... to apply for it, I think. You couldn't just volunteer because it gave school credit. It was like a job. Yeah, she got in, but I accidentally threw away her acceptance letter. Okay, now, there is more to Ew, this than- seriously? Milo, the fuck? I wanted to go to her. It was important to me. I'm sorry, I think it was, I was really, that was the weekend Brad told me he didn't want to be seen with me, okay? It was really, really fucking damn. And as you just seen, that is where I got the rated M for reasons for Intentionally swearing 20 times. Hopefully, though, you took my earlier advice and drunk straight from the same uh, drunk in the first bar and obviously got up a lot of dialogue options for swearing and things a lot earlier than I did. But again, if you if you have followed this video, you will unlock it here. And there's still a ton of swear words left to go yet anyway. So even if you haven't got it yet, I wouldn't panic. Unless, of course, I just really don't like you much either. Just shut up, okay? Just... Just shut the hell up, Milo. I no, you. That was. That was mean what you did. Call mean? My shit behind my back. Mean. You purposefully didn't tell me that I could get school credit one Saturday. You held me friend hostage. Maybe I did it because I was depressed. But no, you would never notice something okay, like that. Are you serious right now? I'm afraid he's quite serious, Lola. But before we get into your ultimate disillusion, let's see who won. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. What are you even talking about? What what is this? The winner is Milo! Ooh, yeah. Milo, you're awesome! Yes, but Wormhorn, what does this mean? What does he win? Well, that's the 72 trillion cell question, isn't it, kids? That's the Toba catastrophe. I piss when I hear the sounds of lawnmowers question, isn't it? You won. Your point of view. You won your point of view, that's what you won. What? What the hell does that mean? Don't listen to it, Lola, okay? Just don't listen to it, Lola. Th that's it! That's what I'm talking about! You can say, don't listen to it. Whereas Lola can only do what God tells her to do. I don't understand. You have autonomy of purpose. I mean, it's obvious. You went after Landon's invitation, which was Milo's plan. Milo talked to Satan, not Lola. You even took a dive with Roberto because Milo was afraid of angering Polly. You have autonomy of purpose. That's how humans see things, anyway. You're the only real one, and everyone else is just twitching, like a like a leaf stuck in a tree. That that's not that doesn't mean anything. That that is so stupid. I I just don't. 
Look, look, come on. We're in this together still, okay? We're getting out, all right? Remember that. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> getting out? You think that's ever gonna happen? <laughs> no one's out drank Satan like ever. What the fuck are you talking about? You know what? Screw them. And screw you too, Milo. This is my last night free in undeath. And I'm gonna spend this shit alone. Away from you and all of this shit. Lola, wait, come on. I need you, man. Jesus fucking Christ, finally. Oh, finally! I have been trying so fucking hard to get under your guys' skin. This is just... Oh, it's a good, it's a good feeling, <laughs> that's all. Oh, fuck you, boy, boy. Why are you so damn mean all the time? Why, why can't you just get the shit out of our heads, okay? Because Satan came first, and then the rest of the angels, and then the demons, and then God planted you like seeds and said, you are his favorite, and you are. You're his favorite fucking show, and without me, it'd be a boring one. Sister Mary Warmhorn, you know I don't uh, recall inviting you to the jungle gym. S Satan! It, it's a great honor. I imagine it would be for a creature such as yourself. You know, my father prided me on my confidence. He used to say, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed, which means doubt is for lesser beings. Personal demons are lesser beings. They make us lesser, so they are lesser. And this... <laughs> This is the time for confidence, for faith in things unseen but felt. Uh, it's also about time for you to die, isn't it, Mary? Wait, demons can... can die? Demons can't. Uh, real demons, anyway. But personal demons expire in the rays of a new day. Your traumas are your own, but how they express themselves gets refreshed every 24-hour cycle. Think of it as trimming the flowers so new ones can grow. Okay, now everyone say goodbye, Warmhorn. Goodbye, Warmhorn. I would spend your last hour wisely. Yes, hell, Satan. <sighs> well, I'm certainly apologetic about that. I'm sure you're anxious to get started on the drinking challenge. I see your parchments all signed. I must say, I didn't think you would make it at first. Wait, uh, Mr. Mr. Lucifer, I, I really... I can't do this without Lola. Oh, I can understand that. Though I would uh, perhaps... So that was the point then, that you get the Milo or Lola achievement. Like I said earlier, hopefully following along this guide, you've got it. And even if you got Lola, like I said, I'll be doing a separate video guide again. I must have said that about three or four times. You're probably sick of hearing me say that, so that'll be the last time that I do say that. And tap in for Mary Wormhorn there, who is basically going to die. Unlucky to be a personal demon in hell. You made it. Really? Yes, really. Now then, Milo, where is your tea? Uh, I don't have a team, man. You didn't say anything about a team before. Well, I'm quite certain that I did, but even if I didn't, a tennis player is to know the rules before heading to court, I suspect. You see, these are my friends. Hiya. And now you need to acquire yours. It's a team competition, as all good drinking games are. Now Morgan's six months sober, so you only need three, not including yourself, which shouldn't be too hard. Especially for an industrious man like yourself. Where the crap am I supposed to just find three friends? It's like I know anybody. Well, you know, I'm sorry. If you've spent the entire evening out in the throng and haven't a single number to show for it, I'm sorry if people have presented themselves vainglorious. I'm sorry that every friendship is built on biological impulse and a fear of being stabbed in the side. But that's the way it is. I'm just a custodian. After all, come back when you're ready. I'll be waiting. <laughs> See ya. Now and again, you might just get those little, for some reason, with a game 
can't save or won't save, but just press retry and it should work first time anyway, so don't panic if you think you've lost your save or anything. And as we are coming now to sort of towards the end of the game, we will be locking a good couple of achievements in quick succession. So Sam will text you now, basically saying uh, your friends at the schoolyard strangler, which will be our third visit there. So we're going to have to go there and basically make up with our little friend. And also get two achievements in there as well. So always something to look forward to in this game. Headed to the schoolyard strangler. Good thing. <laughs> cheerio, cheerio. No, no. Shut up for a second. Let me finish the damn story. Okay. Well, I didn't know your wife was in the. Why do you have it on speakerphone if... Why would I tell you to put it on speakerphone? He hung up. <sighs> that guy. <laughs> Sorry about that. Had to, uh, had to take a call. What was the, uh, what was the story? <laughs> oh, uh, I, I just had a, a crazy date last night with this woman he knew. Sexually, she was very advanced. Uh, there was a lot of math involved, flashcards. I didn't. It was, it was a little hard to keep up. I was just talking to my buddy. I hadn't seen him in a minute. And it's a. Uh, it's not like it is on Earth. It's uh, hard to maintain friends down here. There isn't that communal consciousness that binds everybody, that lets something like Gone with the Wind still be the biggest box office hit when adjusted for inflation. Demons are self-involved. We don't know what it's like to live as another person like you guys. You're not born trapped in a psychological prison shaped by your, by your ancestral code and self-rewarded biases like we are. You're not afraid of each other all the time. You don't hate without reason. I sometimes wonder what that's... what that's like. Hey, I hate to break it to you, Malakota, but people don't have a collective brain trust or whatever. It's hard to know what anyone else even wants for breakfast, let alone their deepest fucking fears. Oh, shit, really? Oh, you know what? I, I was thinking of angels. They're the ones uh, without a... without hate. Yeah. Shit, sorry, I forgot. You going to Satan's thing tonight? The, uh, the party? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't mean the party. I mean, the thing. Um, what thing? You mean the, the drink competition? Yeah, I, I mean the drink comp, uh, comp, what's that word? Competition? Competition, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're almost to, uh, almost to first in Izzard. <laughs> oh man, sorry. I'm thinking about that date again. Chiriato, his wife's gonna be pissed. He told her he was working late the night I met her. But I convinced him to come out with me to school, be my wingman. Cause, cause I'm not really good at that stuff. But you know, what are friends for? First in Izzard, here we are. A uh, place you uh, wanted to go, and now you're here. 
I'd be quick, though, if you're heading to the Strangler. Bars are all closing soon. Hell rise is coming. Uh, Work waits for no man, you know. Pancakes, what's that, right? what's that, oh, hope you, uh, oh, I got hope a you have a good a rest of your night. Okay, so this is a little bit of a warning here. So when we get into the schoolyard strangler, basically Sam will be sitting in a bar, which we will need to go and talk to her first. So you do not go upstairs though. For the love of God, do not go upstairs because we'll be getting an achievement for making friends with Wormhorn now. And if you go upstairs the first time, Wormhorn will be gone and you'll basically have to replay the whole game up to this point, which would suck. Really, wouldn't it? As fun as this game is, playing it all the way up to this point again, you know, going through all the dialogue again, you don't want, even though it is still hilarious to go through it the second time. So skip the stairs, balls to the stairs, go and sit next to Sam right there, and you can have a little conversation with her. Basically, Wormhorn then is to the right, and obviously she's feeling a bit down that she's going to, uh, what's the word, cease to exist. <laughs> And so just be nice to her and eventually the offer to play beer pong will come up and that's how you become friends with her she upstairs Lola no you're uh, your other friend Mary she's a few in but not tits up might be worth having a word with her too uh, that asshole shitbird Satan really lit into it I was so it was like watching an 80s movie bully get shot to death by Indiana Jones hey speaking of getting shot to death some people don't come here or heaven you know they get <laughs> blown out with the butterflies. Nirvana. Already Schopenhauer would call it extinction. I'd call it winning by timeout. Enlightenment's not hard, just have sex to James Brown. Some people would call getting rid of Sister Mary Wormhorn enlightenment, but the inventor of the mirror hung himself, so I guess people really hate their foibles. Not that I disagree, of course. Please don't tell me you think Wormhorn's a good thing, Sam. Come on. I feel like I'm trying to convince Lola not to buy those sequin leggings. Here's the, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing, Milo. Humans, they're born in beds. They don't deserve to be happy, too. But you get to be. Some of you, anyways. Yo, father, another? Thanks. Okay, your partner in crime's upstairs. I'll be waiting here for you when you're done. Uh, hey. What? I'm just, uh, just... Just saying hi, I guess. Just saying hi? What do you want, huh? What is it? it I guess I just want to be like, you know, friends. <laughs> you can barely get the words out. Look, I don't need this shit, okay? I'm, I'm doing great, Milo, okay? I might have been born from your so-called traumatic memories, but if you think I'm gonna be defined by your pathetic self-doubts about waxing your knees, you got another thing coming. I'm my own demon, okay? With my own plans blossomed from my own anxiety. You know, you don't, you don't seem very happy. Like, I feel like I have a pretty good grip on what happy looks like, and this is like the soiled version. I'm meeting friends here, okay? I'm meeting friends, real friends. The, 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 the terrible trivium, the word snatcher, the gelatinous giant, the... Ow, oh, fuck, shit, just go before somebody sees me with you. So, wanna play? Play? Beer pong? W with you. Yeah, I mean, why not? You're here, I'm here. Lola's not here. What does that matter? I'm not your friend, Milo. I'm your kid. Your Spriteling. Your Sprout. Parents forget. You're not supposed to relate to your child, just protect it. Of course, I'm the child you're meant to neglect, letting me wash away into the reeds of self-medication. I came from Lola's turgid self-reflections too, Milo, and we're not gonna play catch without Mom. Go get her and we'll see. Eh, uh, maybe. I'll uh, think about it. I'll just be here, if you and Lola feel like it. So hopefully you were just nice to her, she's feeling a little better about it all. And now, we can go upstairs and find Lola. Again, a little bit of conversation with her. Again, just be nice. Don't, don't be a dick. No point being a dick at this point. We all need the achievements, we just want to get the achievements and get out, don't we? In a way. Um, yeah, for some reason Lola's playing bingo. Demon bingo, which... I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm not a big fan of regular bingo, so I don't know how demon bingo is going to be any better. But, um, yeah. Let's go and talk to her again, make up, then you can go back downstairs and talk to... Turk, talk to Wormhorn. Unless you live in a government that blocks certain facts from being disseminated, this shouldn't be news to you. 
Yeah, MC Demon, just uh, ignore this drunk. He'll just get in the way of your personal and spiritual progress as a human being with needs. Lola, come on, can we can we talk? I'm. S is that supposed to be some sort of joke about my mute friend here? What? Because he's elderly, he doesn't deserve respect? Let's just keep the game going, guys, okay? Take it outside. No, give us a second. There are things you just don't say, Milo. You don't just say them, not even in anger. I'm sorry I'm moving away, okay? I'm fucking sorry we died, and I'm sorry everything went to shit. But that's not... That's no excuse to never listen to me. That's... It's no excuse to... Well, I'm sorry. Just don't interrupt. Just let me finish. I need to start making new friends, okay? And I have got some. And my new friends, my new bingo-playing demon friends, they're... Wait, you think this guy's your friend? Charlie? He's just drunk. Uh, what do you mean? He's not drunk. He just can't talk. Right? Charlie... Ugh, turn off the TV, Mommy. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> That's our Charlie. You know what? F fuck this, then. Jesus. Lola. Let her go, man. She just doesn't get bingo. It's about that time, ladies. Wanna have a drink? Mm, not really. I don't remember that much about our friendship, Milo. About our history together. I I remember certain things, but like like after a dream, it's all it feels like a different life. From what I can tell, I think we've been friends by circumstance. And not because we have a single damn thing in common. Oh, come on. We have we got stuff in common. Like what? We make each other laugh, don't we? Shouldn't that be enough? I don't know, maybe. We're here because apparently we weren't great people, but I think maybe we're here because we weren't great at being people. And maybe that's the same thing, but we've, we've been cutting each other in half for our entire lives, and I just don't want to do that anymore, to you or to me. So if we get back, I'm going to try to you know, do something different in that world that makes me feel OK about just being me. As scary as that sounds. No, I understand, I do. You gotta see what's out there, you know? Milo, I know you're always being you with me. You never, you never try to be anything else you're not. I try to do the same for you and whatever else happens after tonight, if we get back, if we don't, let's, um, well, you know. Yeah, don't worry about it. Let's out drink that son of a bitch. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sam's. Well, actually, I thought she I'm was. right here. How long were you standing there? I've been in the john for the last 10 minutes, so. One second. Why? You kids patch things up? Uh, sure. Sure sounds like a good enough for me. Let's ramble. To be honest, I thought that conversation was a bit awkward. Not really, um. Not really balls to the walls friendly making up. But anyway, they've all made up and you've got the achievement. And now we can play a nice bit of game of beer pong. Again, it doesn't really matter if you win or lose. What actually takes the piss for me here is the first time I played beer pong and I had to restart the game about eight, nine or ten bloody times because I couldn't get them, you know, play the perfect game of beer pong. This, this was one take. Nothing edited here. i done it all in one. And that was pretty annoying for me, actually, after getting slightly frustrated doing it the first time. But... That is literally how life goes. But again, doesn't matter if you win or lose.
annoying when you're not winning. Great shot. Ooh, that was fun. Yeah, it was. And on that awkward note, I think it's about that time, kids. Really? That's it? I mean, I I'm not gonna poof out of permanence right this second. I probably have like another half hour or something, but it's fine. It's good that it happens this way. People change, you change, you learn how to drive, you get married, folks die, you, you change and your demons should change with you. But I don't know, maybe I'm preaching to the wrong choir. Why? You two, you're still friends. That hasn't changed. Maybe it won't ever. Yeah, I mean, we'll always be friends. Why would that change? Personally, I don't think it should. But I'm just Sister Mary Wormhorn. What the fuck do I know? Bye, you little freaks. Don't be blaming me for your nightmares, okay? God gave you creativity. He just forgot to put in the off button. But text me if you want to hang out. So all that cute making up with Loli you did, you've now cutely made up with Wormhorn and ah, oh, you don't really want to leave hell, look at all the friends you're making. Even though there are probably some people that actually look like Wormhorn in real life on Earth, so oh, you're not really missing much you. This basically just looks like <laughs> a couple of towns around my area in Wales, so I ain't missing much if this is what we're going to be doing. But again, anyway, coming up to another achievement here. So, with Sam now, everyone's made up and we're all good to go. And she's basically going to ask, can we just nip off to another island so I can meet a friend only for just a couple of minutes? You are obviously going to say yes, or I think it's I don't mind is the option. It's pretty obvious when it comes up. So again, just follow the dialogue options just in case. And all you'll be doing, you'll just nip on a bench, talk for a bit, and then make the achievement for making friends with Sam unlocks. I'm happy to see you two back together, really. The whole thing just felt off without it being the, the, the dual story, you know? Not that I'm one to talk. It's always just been me up here. Thanks. You know, we're happy. Wait, 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 Cassius. I I'm sorry. I can't hear you over my bear's big mouth. Hello? Lost him. I got this new tiny speaker for my phone. It fits right in my, um, whatever I call my ear hole. What were you saying? <sighs> we were saying that all we need to do is get two more friends now for the drink off, and then that's... That's it. We are running the damn gauntlets and Count of Monte Cristoing the fuck out of here. Hey, can you guys do me a favor? Yeah, don't worry. I'll make sure he never says Count of Monte Cristoing again. Okay, two favors. I gotta take care of something in Odds Vatican's. What? Why? Someone there did me a favor, and they, um, they need something done for him, and that's all I can really say. I know the hourglass is running out on you guys, but this thing's kind of time sensitive too. Hey, if we miss the window... Won't take a jerseyman. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, we can stop by, yeah. Great, thanks. Won't take longer than it takes to, you know, do anything else. That seems, um, broad. All right, thanks for, uh, thanks for doing this. I'll be quick, I promise. Do you want us to... Should we stay behind? No, 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 no. Come on. We'll all saunter. You kids went to college, right? Uh-huh. Liberal, state, military, nursing, technical, vocational... It was just a university. Did they teach you about the peace of Westphalia? Uh, I think so. It was the end of an 11,000-day war between inbred royalty and the ghosts of Martin Luther. But anyways, they made treaties establishing, basically, a new world order of independent nations. I remember Satan watching it like it was the Super Bowl. Only if his rival team won. You've never seen a guy so pissed. Huh. Has, has Satan um, ever directly, like, influenced historical events? I mean, other than the Cheetos lip balm? He had to, to have had something to do no, with... No, it's, it's tough for him to ever make that big of a dent. It'd be like climbing to the top of the Empire State Building and shining a 40-watt flashlight, hoping someone in bed style will see it. The logistics are too hard, and the weather's gotta be, like, perfect. Okay, we're almost there. It won't be more than a minute. You can hold me to that, really. Okay, here's where I'm meeting him. 
Let's, uh, let's grab a seat. Admire the scenery. Uh, who are we meeting exactly? I'd appreciate the spoiler so I know if we should just cut bait and leave. We are meeting some friends of mine. What friends? What's going on? Nothing is going on, Lola. We're just gonna... We are going to sit here in our non-doing of any evil and cleanse our minds while we wait for the moment to reveal itself. So, come on, take a seat. It'll be fast. Okay. Ugh, the seat's a little wet. So, what should we, uh, talk about while we wait? Any ideas? Okay, girl to girl, just what the hell have you been hiding? Having whisper sound and conversations about all night. And Polly, too. They're both up to something. Polly was strongly alluding to some scheme for Satan that was going around like it was fucking flu season. It's one of those things that are... It'll be interesting to experience, I think. And maybe, hopefully, helpful, but really just so boring to explain. It's like a Gus Van Sant movie. Who are we meeting, really? You. I'm meeting you. What do you mean? Look, I've got a, uh... I've got a confession to make. It's... it's about a secret of mine. It's a secret that I keep very close to my chest, you know, something that's been buried for eons. Something that no living soul can... Oh, hi, Sam. If you see your asshole brother Satan, tell him to stop tying his fucking trousers to my mailbox, all right? <sighs> Thanks, Tannen. Hold the rotary phone. You're Satan's sister. You're like all the other monarchs? I'm not like the other monarchs. I am a monarch. Or was. I mean, I guess I still am. I was born in a socket of time and light between strings and waves to the animal we call God. I mean, I, I don't even remember how the fight started, to be perfectly honest. I just, I remember that I didn't rebel with the rest of them. And I couldn't fight my brothers and sisters for the sight of sunshine either, so I... I just didn't take a stand. I was too scared, and I just wanted everyone to start eating dinner together again, you know? So when it came time to hand out the punishments, dear old dad didn't spare what he called my ambivalence. My uncertainty in his order. So I was cast out with the others. That was, um, well, it was a long time ago. Man, that is so unfair. Once, I didn't tell my sister Dinah, breaking my grandfather's remote control. Christ, when they found out, you would have thought I was harboring Nazis in the basement. A church sinking into the swamp? I built that first month, just after the fall. I, uh, I wanted a place where souls could still intone with God, if they wanted to. You know, whether or not he was even listening. But Satan didn't really, uh, he breathed it as an insult. So, three days in, he tore it down, and, uh conscripted me into being a psychopomp. I think for him it was um, romantic or metrical or something. The image of me driving back and forth, to and fro, never docking, never settling in one spot, never choosing a home. But uh, that's just my theory. What an asshole. Really, who does that? And for how long? I mean, this is like your brother grounding you till the heat death of the universe. It's, it's fine. I think it, uh, I think it's, what I was meant to be doing all along, anyway. I wasn't a good angel, and I wasn't a particularly great demon, either. But I'm, uh, I'm passing at this, I think. So, why are you telling us this? Actually, what did you mean by helping us out? I know you're coming up to your danger zone, time-wise. I can wrap it up while we walk. Look, I'm extraordinarily difficult to impress, I think that things that wear clothes have completely misread the universe and what should be carried as important, myself included in that. But you've done things I wouldn't have expected anyone to do down here. So, I got a little something for you. A going away present, if you want to label it. Don't think it's like a catapult to Earth or anything, but uh, it's like a token of my appreciation for what you've accomplished. Oh, Sam, you didn't have to do that. Actually, you literally could have done absolutely nothing and we wouldn't have known the difference. I should give it to you in private, though, by the cap. Away from the, uh, the, the wrap. Oh, okay. So, Milo and Lola, I do bequeath you my seal of approval. Cool. <laughs> oh. I know you cats already have all the seals you need, but, um, just think of it like a good luck charm. And this way, Luke can't fuck with you and say he swears up and down on a pyramid of baby heads that he said three seals and not two. 
I've played softball with that guy too much to know he cheats like a mother effer. Wow, Sam, this this means a lot. <laughs> it does. I I don't I don't know what to say really. You don't have to say anything. We're uh we're friends, so you know, no biggie. All right, enough sappy bullshit. Let's hit the road. Get you kids back home. So there it is then, that is the shock horror. Sam is actually Satan's sister, she gives you a, uh, one of the seals of approval anyway, even though you don't really need it, but just in case, so you got that one out of the way. Now, here is another achievement, so what we'll need is a couple of demons to be our, uh, to be our sort of drinking buddies, but what you're going to say is no to everyone, so you've got to make sure you say no to absolutely everyone, and that will then, you'll basically, so move on. Every time you see a dialogue option, click move on, and you'll basically get, I think I got Linda in this one, you get her automatically as soon as all the options are up, and sadly, it'll be the drunk idiot demon, but at least you get an achievement for it again, so happy days. <sighs> Forget it. Mm, what about Asmodeus? Uh, I think we should just let him relax at school. If you can call that relaxing. What about Polly? Ed, I don't know if I really trust her. I think she's up to something. Oh, hey, what about Wormhorn? Sorry, but fuck no. I don't care how we ended things. With her bullshit, I'm not to the point of laughing about it yet. Oh, what about Linda Landon? Oh, uh... Yeah, sure. I guess she'll be okay. Ugh, and now we're down to the drunk idiot demon from the fucking start of this thing. Wait, so we have to pick this guy? You turned down everybody else. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know about everybody else in here, but I, for one, feel pretty darn good about this. Cool. Okay, so now we are coming up to the end of the game, and this is the best way I have found, actually thanks to No Heroes 94 uh, for this little trick, uh, which he found basically first. So what we need to do then, when we get to Satan's, we will need to, uh, it'll be an autosave straight away. And then what we need to do is completely quit out of the game and just restart and go back in. That will effectively bank your save. Now with the, it's uh, basically with, with the cloud, so if you if you just auto-saved it here and then you carried on, got your first ending and then tried to reload, basically obviously the game would have auto-saved uh, being connected to the cloud and you would have missed it, so you'd have to go through the entire game again to do this. So there'd be a, a little bit of dialogue again between them. So now the game, as you can see in the bottom right corner, has auto-saved. So this has now banked our save. And if you do exactly what I do on screen, when you get your first end in, um, you'll go back to it, restart the game, and you should end up right outside Satan's and going again. Obviously, the only problem is there is a quite a lot, again, of dialogue, obviously being sort of the end of the game, which can be a bit annoying, but well, it's a lot better than playing through the game three times, isn't it? Makes sense. So this is the point then. So press start, 
go on to the home uh, yeah, sort of home page and then make sure to quit out of the game. And then obviously just reload back in as you normally would do and you'll obviously end up just outside Satan's again. And now we can go inside. And obviously, like I said, there's sort of two phases to, to the end. In the first one, you've got to do a bit of a uh, beer pong competition. Literally, again, does not matter if you win or lose that. That's not the bit that we care about. But obviously, between now and getting to that point, again, is quite a bit of dialogue. Remember to look out for any swear words in the dialogue options if you still haven't gotten to that achievement yet. This is quite funny, this is actually uh, an intervention. And there ain't no party like a Satan Club party. <laughs> How... Yeah, sorry, that's probably... That was the worst joke I've ever told. No, I've told worse. But anyway, so this is basically an intervention for Satan who's just a big old drunk. I mean, he is... He is the big boss in hell, so... You can't blame me, I'm going... I have got nothing else to do. Mostly winding down, but... I think there's some booze spilled in various ashtrays throughout. If you're so inclined, no judgment. Look, we got the team, okay? You said it was a team sport, so we, we got one. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I think you're mistaken. Mistaken about what? I said you had to get friends. You need friends to have a drinking contest, a true drinking contest. I, I thought that's what you wanted to do, correct? We have. We brought our friends. No, those aren't your friends. A uselessly dead musician and a drunk demon you met five minutes in. These aren't your friends, okay? Do you really think they'll be there for you when the chips are down? Yes, they are. We're, we're all good. The fact of the matter, kids. There's no such thing as friends. In hell or anywhere else. Polly, if you came for the ball drop, we only do that on New Year's. Judge Apollyon, what a fucking surprise. I take it by your tone, you don't actually consider this a surprise? No! I've known for some time that you and a town's worth of extras were planning something. So what is this? Sula deposing Marius? The Personian conspiracy? Hm. Treachery is a sin, dear sister. Maybe the greatest of sins. But hey, you want to run hell in the shadow of Beelzebub? Fine. My guy. Uh, like I give a shit. Roberto? I am here, yes. Roberto, holy shit, what are you doing here? Okay, yeah. I knew this little stereotype was someone important to you. What is this? The plot of prophecy? Is... Are you like the best thumb wrestler in the universe? Well, okay, fine. Get it over with, little man. Take your best shot. How should we start? Uh, Miss Apollyon, I can begin. We should all begin by telling Lucifer here how much he is loved, and appreciated, and cared for. No, we don't. Oh, you we totally love you, guy. For. Uh, we... we love you, Satan? What the fuck are you... Now, Miss Polly, why don't you speak first? 
We're supposed to, um, we're supposed to go over our memories, say what we remember, tell us how you've made us all feel. Not to be judgmental, not be confrontational. And it's hard. This is hard, standing here. Um, harder than I thought it would be. Pop. You know what I remember? I remember playing tag with you across the Hadean. I remember unicellular life popping like popcorn. You and I watching it. Uh, uh, Polyon? This is your fucking intervention, Morningstar, and you're gonna listen to every single thing we have to say. Wait, 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 wait. What? This is an intervention? You're, you're, you're pulling my leg. Oh, but shit, does this, should we, like, should we not be here for this? Are you kidding me? Luke is fine. We party, so what? Morningstar, hell can be, it can be a place for reflection for rehabilitation, for, for skepticism, for study. But you've turned your back on everyone and everything. It's, it's not fair to, to Beelzebub. No. Or me. Or your brothers and sisters, Luke. We care Milo, about you. Lola, I think we have a drinking contest to start. Lucifer, this is, this is serious. Oh, is it? Oh, uh, good. Can't wait to, uh, to drink you under the table there, Chief. You want to know who Roberto is, Lucifer? He's the leading interventionist expert, and we thought... <laughs> okay, kids, here's how we do this. Morning, it's Star. It's a drinking game with two rounds. Round one is beer pong, your team against mine. Lucifer, stop acting like a child. Hey, beer pong! <laughs> Are you okay? This seems... This is weird. No, it isn't. Nothing's weird about it. We shouldn't be doing this. And yet we are. So get ready for beer pong, everyone. Beirut, the sport of philosophers and kings. Follow me, all right? And quickly, lest we continue getting interrupted. Uh, I honestly didn't know that this was, like, gonna be like this, so... I'm thinking maybe we just put a... Like, get a rain check or something? Like, let you all sort it out first? Do whatever the hell you want, but if you forfeit your turn, it'll only hurt Milo and Lola. You know, the ones who this whole thing is about. It's not about Satan's hellcallism, if you can even call it that, which I don't. Lucifer! Luke, I, I, I don't really know you that well, but can I... Can I uh, ride home later? Why is this thing here? Yeah, who brought that Okay, guy? here's how we do this. Morning Star, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you hear what we're trying to say to you? That you have a problem, that, that, that hell is crumbling because of it. Two teams. Two teams, yours and mine. We play. We're going teams to keep take turns. Whether or not you no cheating, listen. no cuts. Winner takes all. Just like love and war. Easy enough? Father Chocoblock? Pick a drink. I opened up the house barrel, so the selection is wide and varied. Hey, good to see you again. Want something else? A global extinction sounds exactly like what I want right now. Good pick. It's sort of my specialty. Okay, go up to your side when ready. Come on, Lola, you can do it. So as I said, this beer pong phase doesn't matter, win or lose. It's the second phase we need to worry about, and that'll be Satan transporting Milo and Lola to another dimension to do a drinking contest. And the three achievements related to that is obviously winning, gotta beat Satan. One is for losing to him uh, completely on, basically on purpose. He'll give you a couple of tries and you just say, yeah, we'll take the loss, thanks. And the other one is failing to so basically Please failing to compete, bound. where you do not start the beer pong, uh, the drinking contest at all. But again, we'll just get that into that in just a little bit. Still got it. Hey, great! <laughs> great job. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Oh, 
asshole? Open your eyes. Oh, I'm trying. Christ. Relax, guys. It's only a game. Okay. It's definitely been a while, but, um, I'll give it my best shot, kids. All right? Can we move the cops up? I feel like she needs a handicap or something. <laughs> You're hilarious. The Haifs, you burn them Damn it, out. sorry guys. Of drums and kettle drums. Fire your imperial anger. Fire your imperial anger. Dear Lucifer, humans really aren't worth the bones they're printed on. Oh, like you're doing much better. Can you just stop yelling at each other, please? Come on, Lola, you can do it. I mean, I should get these in. Your grandfather knows if he knows anything and gives the cleft in your chins, girl. Whoops. <laughs> nice one, you goddamn waste of celestial space. Open your eyes. Shut up, Chernabog. You'll get it next time. Come on, buddy, you can make it. Are you serious? How can you be this bad? How can you be that... be that ugly, huh? Ever ponder that one? Chernabog? Your tech strategy is less log heavy. You, you beat out other options, so. Oh, so the beat their duetting uh, asses. No, that didn't look good from Go. Ugh, I can't believe we wasted a spot on this chode. Hey, I'm I'm trying, okay? The Tala, stop it. It's supposed to be fun. Come on, Lola, you can do it. Oh, man, that almost didn't make it. God, I love this game. Christ, get him up. I'm fucking fine, okay? Jesus, Joseph. Fucking party! Relax! We're all just having a good time, okay? This isn't a good time. Hey, man, are are you okay? Of course, I'm, uh, I'm fine. I'm calling it, okay? This is a straight edge party now. You're all teetotalers. This isn't your party to control, Polly. You don't even know where you are right now, Morningstar. I certainly hope you're joking, Apollyon. It's a bit of a character flaw of mine. I can't accept disrespect. Not in my own house. I follow our father in that regard. Am I kidding with you? No. Take a step back. Now. Okay, everybody, let's just, let's take it easy. Ugh, Luke. Fuck it. I don't even give a shit, okay? Milo and Lolo won the first round. Morningstar, just stop. They're gonna make it. They're gonna do what I, what I never could. Get out from under the cosmic plan someone else made for you. Will you stop enabling him? Stop playing his stupid games. This is bigger than just the two of you. Oh, uh, shit. Sorry, this, this is just hard to parse right now. Yeah, what's the, what's really that bad if, if the devil gets loaded every night? It's not just, you have to understand. Morningstar needs treatment, okay? Everything he does is connected to everyone he watches after, and everyone that watches after him. Now end it. All right, shit. On to round two. Round two. Good old-fashioned drink-off. Brother. Morning, Star. That's it. We're, we're, we're You're gonna sit down and listen to us and, and, and hear us. Hear you? You want me to hear you, is that what you said? To be weak is to be miserable. 
To do aught good never be our task, but ever do ill our sole delight. Hmm. And now, you want me to sit down and listen to all the ways I've disappointed you? Well, <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Hell is without its leader, Lucifer. There are souls out there that need your wisdom. Clear-minded wisdom. Shit, there are souls in here that need it. Your family needs it. Your family wants you back. There's nothing to come back to. Okay, you guys can go back to this uh, sad conversation after we have the drink off and go home, all right? Well, maybe. The we drink should. off is happening with my real friends, okay? Right, Chernobog? Uh. Right, Chernobog? Polly, I mean, she's like. She's like my Aunt Luke, and. Oh, fucking hell. Are you. Just cause she babysat you when you were shot out of Tartarus? Morning, Star. We are finishing the challenge. Milo, Lola, which one is taking point? This really isn't necessary, Luke. Shut up, Bezor. Uh, me, I guess? Satan, just just can't you fuck? Beelzebub, can you just like... Yes, Luke, this has really gone far enough. The games are over. You need help, and we're here to help you. Milo, let's... No, Milo, Lola, go home. You've done enough. Those are my guests, Bezel. You don't have the capacity to make decisions right now. You cannot run away from this anymore, Luke. Morningstar, come on, sit down before you have another fall. <sighs> you guys are being so fucking lame right now. And you know what? I don't think I want to look at you anymore. Luke. What assholes, am I right? Oh, don't worry, they can't... <laughs> Follow us here to the abyss, the unworld. Nature's womb between heaven, hell, and your material, uh, material plane. Unless God wants to fart some more unicorns into existence, then it's his damn workshop. What, what, why'd you bring us? Wouldn't you rather be, like, alone right no, now? No, no, I'm, uh, we should finish the game, definitely. So the first ending achievement happens right here, and what we will be doing is not competing at all. So Satan will get the game ready, etc, but just follow the dialogue options I do, for one, and you'll basically get that. The most important thing now is as soon, literally as soon as the achievement starts to unlock, press the home button, do not quit out of the game, do not quit out of the game, just go back to your home page on the Xbox, and then follow my directions on there. And, and ba what we're doing is basically deleting our local save. And that will quit the game automatically. And then when we restart, we go back into uh, just outside Satan's house. So we can do all of this again and get the next ending. Uh, if I wasn't too good at explaining that, again, just follow what I do. But again, make sure as soon, literally the second you hear that achievement start popping, do not manually quit out of the game, just go, um, just go back to the Xbox dashboard on the homepage. But again, for this point, look, Satan starts it, and you think you have to, but whatever you do, do not click start the game, just keep on going with the dialogue options, but do not start the game. Help. I need help? <laughs> You're gonna need help if you don't put down a glass. Look, this isn't a joke, Pilgrim. This isn't some trick or moral quandary you're going to massage your way out of. There is only the game, and whether or not you want to win. So I would put down a glass and start playing while you still can. Your friends down there, they want to help you. They're, they're scared that... They're scared? Scared of what? <laughs> that I'm gonna drink myself to death? You want to know why you're in hell? Really? Truly? Deceit. You lie. With one denying truth, there goes to hell. That one who, having done, says, I did not. You lied to fella, as you lied in life. As you're lying to yourself right now, that you want to help me. You don't want to help me. You want to beat this silly piece of entertaining drivel some secret way. Well, there is no secret way. So pick up your glass and drink with me. Why we're here doesn't matter right now, Luke. 
Okay, I know that you think that I'm going to learn some lesson here. It's painfully obvious that you're trying to do the right thing. But I'm here to tell you, so I don't want to hear any fucking whining after, because I warned you repeatedly that all that's going to happen unless you start playing is I will win and you will lose. You'll be here forever and nothing good will have come of it. So you should really consider. I'm, I'm not drinking with you, okay? It's, it's not gonna happen, no matter how much you may want it to, or, or, or need it to. You don't need to do this to pretend you're happy, that everything's all right. Uh, take it from me, you really don't. <sighs> you know you come into the light thinking I'm pretty special, and then you get a little older and people tell you, actually, you're not that special and you believe it. You get older still, and now your banner says, what I do defines me, my charity, my wicked acts. And then you get older still, and you realize it's been luck that's determined your entire life. Were you born impoverished, or rich, or ill? Did you die as a child? Did your mother love you? And then you realize all life is driven by it. A half second too slow, Oxygen never bombs, a half minute too fast, a, a planet doesn't emerge. Everything that is, is here by an infinite number of fortuitous accidents and lucky breaks. And in the yawn of all that, you think finally, conclusively, fuck, I am pretty special. That's my dad's loop of self-determination no living soul can ever escape. And believe me, I've tried. But I'm giving you something he never could. A gift of achievement. You can accomplish something here, sitting in that chair, playing this game. You can feel like you've beaten a god. Some people go their whole lives without that feeling. And I wouldn't squander it if I were you. So put down your fucking glass! I think we're done. Self-annihilation. There's the achievement, so now, go straight back to your Xbox dashboard. There we go, so, I think it's quite, if you do it, if you take your time on it, uh, obviously it auto-saves, um, because you've lost, basically, and you'll have to do that all over again. So, as long as you've done that quick enough, literally straight away, you should be good to go. Right. Right then, so now we can go onto your game, well, my game and apps, your game and apps, whatever. So if you go on to After Party, actually highlight it, and then press the Start button. Now we can go down to Manage Games and Add-ons. Go down then to... Then go down to Save Data. Now, you'd think you'd have to delete the actual game itself, but it's not. Actually click on your gamer tag right there. Uh, press start again and then make sure you click delete from console not delete everywhere only delete from console and that should do it and now you can reload the game and you should be outside satan's house so hopefully guys that was as clear as i could make it hopefully you got the time in every and everything done and hopefully now this should just be easy enough to do and we've only got two more endings left to do now
So here we are then, we made it. That worked an absolute treat. So we don't have to do another playthrough. Again, hopefully you followed that and you are doing the exact same too. Obviously I've cut out quite a lot of dialogue. I think I just get straight to the beer pong point here for a little bit and then straight into the uh, second phase of it because you don't really want to be watching another 10 minutes of dialogue and playing uh, beer pong again, do you? <laughs> Not you really. Where? Well, I know we like to say they're like ants or uh, voles, but they get from someone who saw them come out of well, a queue. There he is. People Let's go get People are just plucked parrots. Particularly in their, um, how to put this, uh, their capability uh, of feeling... <sighs> oh, 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 it's you, uh, mm... Milo? Ah, uh, Milo, yes, that's... Oak, they are walking home. Yeah, see? I, I can do things. Look at you anymore. Luke. What assholes, am I right? Oh, don't worry, they can't... <laughs> Follow us here to the abyss, the unworld. Nature's womb between heaven, hell, and your material, uh, material plane. Unless God wants to fart some more unicorns into existence. What, what, why'd you bring us? Wouldn't you rather be, like... Alone right no, now? no, I'm. Uh, we should finish the game definitely. So for this what achievement, then what we need to do is basically just lose this on purpose now. So Satan will just be flying, flying, flying them up, and you just keep missing, keep smashing the glasses, keep missing. He'll offer you another two or three tries to do it, and as soon as the dialogue option for "We'll take the loss, thanks" comes up, that's the one you click on, and then again we'll need to do the same as we just did. So as soon as the achievement. Uh, pops up the second you hear it again quit, uh, Don't quit out manually the game just go straight back to your home page your Xbox dashboard and We'll be going through the steps to delete our local console save this time. So again just lose on purpose here Keep going don't give up Ignore how big he is and drink. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. Go, Milo. He's just a, a giant angel of death and torment. You can outdrink this <sighs> asshole. Shit. Uh, oh, <clears throat> oh, that's uh, uh, this is too bad. I'll be honest. I didn't expect this. I thought you two were. Uh, I mean, you you did the whole monarch thing, got the invite to come all this way, and had uh, not get it done. Is it's annoying to say the least. I'm. I'm annoyed. Lucifer, come on. You, you only drank Milo under the table. Let's let me have a try. Fine. To satisfy your curiosity. And I got nothing better to do. Let's go, Lola. He's a. He's fading. Little. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. Let's go, Lola. He's just a giant angel of evil and shit talking. You cannot drink this asshole. Keep going, don't give up. Ignore how big he is and drink. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. Oh, come on. Two tries I gave you. It's hard, okay? You're like ten times bigger than us. That's okay. We, uh, we lost on purpose. Yeah, we, we decided you were too messed up to participate. 
Oh, give me a break. You could have just not played. But you tried and failed, and now you want take backsies? Look, you little... I'm not letting you go down like this, okay? This is your story here. You should get some validation. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do you a solid and let you try again, okay? Another shot. I can. I can do this all night. Uh, well, we'll take Here we go again. Yeah. There it is. Straight into your Xbox dashboard. Lovely, perfect. Now we'll go through the same steps. Delete, uh, go into your uh, games and apps and go ahead and delete your local save. And then that should be the last time to do it then. So now what we've got to do is win. And just enjoy the final cutscene. And then that'll be 21 out of 23 achievements. Then you'll have to do about two hours of another playthrough. And that is just for getting a Satan invitation to the party from Fella instead of Linda. And obviously choosing all of Lola's choices if you got Milo in this first playthrough. So getting all of Lola's choices to get to be to be able to play her after they have a fight. And sadly you can't see which ones you needed because they're all secret achievements, so I, I've never got that. I don't. I don't really get that secret achievements. Only for something really spoilery. But anyway, we've gone straight back into it. Then um, obviously you'll have to go through all the dialogue options and stuff again. So I made this bit even shorter. So we'll go straight into the drinking part here, and. Now, obviously, all we have to do is win now. And I'm pretty sure that Satan gives you an unlimited amount of tries. I don't think there's any way that you can... Giant angel of death and torment. You can drink this asshole. I don't think there's any way that you can actually lose this. Uh, I think I just managed to beat him on my fifth try. So, don't worry, I haven't, you know, taken the piss and just gone sort of straight into it, even though I kind of have. <laughs> um... But yeah, so you'll just see the same thing now. Literally, I can, I can, I can do this all night. That's what you'll see. Why reload the save right, which I thought was very clever as well. But yeah, I got this in my fifth try, so I'm pretty sure you've got an unlimited amount of tries. But again, don't get panicky, don't get too pressured. Just you know, take your time, enjoy it. And it does actually get easier after the first two or three tries as well. So you will get it eventually, and then that will be that. Finally. Come on, let's go. Don't fall too far behind. He's a, he's fading. A little. Come on, Lola, you got this. Doing it. Don't, don't look at a stack. Don't get nervous. You did it. You did it. I, I gave you my best shot, but. You really, you, you pulled through. I'm proud of you, kids. You get to go home. I can't, I can't believe we won. This is insane. We out drank and out partied Satan. You surely did. You surely did. No, he's, he's like 16 feet tall. It's Satan, you know. Wait, never mind, the... You piece of shit. You know how scared we all were? You can't, you can't just leave and not... Yeah, 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 okay, okay, whatever. Milo and Lola won the contest. Milo and Lola? Who gives a fuck? I would think they do. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what to fucking say anymore, Satan. I, I really, really don't. Congrats, kids. Thanks for, for enabling the leader of the damn world into being a complete raging alcoholic who's drunkenly shat himself more than he's had hot meals. Polly, we, we needed to get out, okay? We don't, we don't deserve to be here. Maybe you deserve it more than you realize. And for winning. Let's just go. Wait, wait. For winning, everyone in their party gets to go to Earth as well. Wait, seriously? Yeah! Screw this. And screw you, Polly. Like Milo and Lola ever needed your friendship. Milo and Lola and I are the real winners. And every... everybody wins everything, all the... Who? 
wants waffles? Right? Right, when I said it, I was like, I'm actually hungrier than I thought. Can you believe that episode last night? No, why would Donna pick Brad of all? She's not even taller than her. I hate that you sucked me into it. It's so bad. Whatever, are you on your lunch break? I can never remember the time change. You just add three. Odd numbers are hard for me. I can't wait to see you. My flight's at six, then you can show me the sights. How are things going though? Um, great. Honestly, the job, it's good. I mean, everybody warned me about nonprofits. The high turnover, the workload, the outreach, it isn't great, but it's, it's a start. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a start. Well, that's, uh, that's cool. I miss seeing you, man. It was hard enough to move, but it's doubly weird not seeing you every day. No, I know, it's crazy. Our back booth at Orion is really, they should put up a little sign. They should, yeah, they should. Like, like Frank Sinatra sat here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the magic shop's going well. I'm having fun, at least. My talking on the phone phobia got knocked out within two weeks. I just have to do it, so. Immersion therapy, or whatever. But, uh, yeah, it's been interesting. That's, that's awesome, Milo, really. Yeah, it, uh, it feels good. You know, I've been thinking about, uh, about our vacation recently, about the people we met, and, uh, I don't know, do you, uh, do you miss it at all? I guess a little. And I was just thinking that, I mean, I'm obviously gonna try to be a good person, but we might end up back there. Hmm, why do you think so? Because it's, it's tough to know what's, what's right in this world. And you know, maybe I don't agree with what's considered wrong. We made friends, right? Kind of good friends. And maybe it wouldn't be so bad to be stuck with, with the people you like and uh, who like you for eternity. I don't know. Well, keep the positive outlook, because we're definitely going to hell when we die. Why? I don't think the gatekeepers look too kindly on bringing demons and dead people to life. Hey, Milo, um, where the fuck do I get the rabbit to stay in the top hat? So, see you Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So there we have it then, that is it. Like I said, now we just need to do one more playthrough, uh, just for choosing a couple of other things, but we'll get into that. So congratulations, guys and gals. Thank you for following my video guide and watching, and hopefully it's helped uh, with some of the miscellaneous achievements and things like that. And also, I hope you've enjoyed the game, because I think it's been fantastic, and even this credit sequence here is pretty goddamn brilliant as well. But once again, thank you so... <laughs> Poor Bates. Master Bates. Anyway, <laughs> thank you very, very much for watching, guys and gals. Again, hope it's helped. Hope you've enjoyed. And you know, if it has, definitely like the video. Definitely worth subscribing to my channel as well, because there'll be a lot more 100% game guides and collectible guides, etc. in the future. And obviously comment. Comment below, see if there's anything good, or if you thought I could have improved on anything. And I shall see you in the next one.